Welcome back to Purple Collar Life. We went from warm days to cold days pretty quickly here. It was in the 70s last week. We woke up this morning to snow on the ground. Now that has melted already today, but it's still only about 34 degrees out. So we've had quite the temperature transition from the 70s to the 30s in the matter of just a couple days. As you can see, I've got the hat on, the heavier coat, and I'm gonna have some insulated gloves on today to split some firewood. Today we're using the combination of the Ford Workmaster the big tool rack with the hitch on it turning the split fire 2265 and we're taking on this red oak so if you missed it we had some trees taken down and the red oak was one of them i want to get this split up so that it can start seasoning out for next year cold days like today put me in the mood for having a fire inside and that puts me in the mood to come outside and split some wood So this video is kind of about doubling up on things. As you can see, I've got the big tool rack on the back of the tractor, but then I was able to use the hitch to tow the split fire. So in one trip, two things come back to the woods with me. The second thing I wanna show you, maybe a lot of you already know this is, but if you've got a single wedge like we do, not a four-way wedge, every time you split wood, you're gonna get two pieces. But what we do is with pieces that are about this size, we'll split them so we've got two pieces, keep them, together, roll them over 90 degrees, split them back in the other direction because the split fire splits both ways, and then we've got four pieces in two splits. So we're doubling up on the splits. Let me show you how that works. So like I said, the first split, we'll split this in half. So we're gonna keep this together Roll it 90 degrees, and the second split will make four pieces. One, two, three, four. So for those of you that didn't already know that trick, and probably most of you did, it's nice to be able to double up by rotating that wood 90 degrees to make four splits in just two times splitting the wood.
Well, that worked out really good. I was able to get a pretty decent sized load here in the back of the tool rack. My back tires on the tractor are a little bit squatting, so I know that red oak is pretty heavy back here. And it's the first time I've filled the big tool rack up this full, but it's doing a great job handling the weight. And I've still got the split fire attached to it, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this around. I'll ditch the split fire back into the shed, and then I'll take this load of wood up to a pallet where we'll start stacking it. Ground's getting a little bit soft. Well, that was a fun evening activity. Nice to get some of that red oak taken care of. We've got a lot more to do and it's gonna make a lot of great firewood in the future. Always good to have an old farm tractor on hand and the big tool rack added to the back to it adds a lot of capabilities to this machine. I can now haul that firewood. I can haul my chainsaw and we can tow the split fire. Works great for projects like this where you wanna double up on your work, get twice as much done. Like I said, I'm able to haul the wood and the splitter and I showed you that little trick that probably most of you already knew about rotating the log and splitting it twice to get four pieces. Thanks for watching. If you like videos like this, make sure you give us a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and we'll see you again the next time.